lot of people say how to avoid heart attack doctor you think there's a block in the vessel is a cause of the heart attack no block in the vessel is a good business for me i can tell you i, I want to bypass that and give you take about 5 lakhs from you but that block has been bypassed by nature and or god long ago otherwise you would live suppose you get 100% block how can you survive so as the block appears over a period of years the collaterals come i have a ace patient in mangalore this man saw me about 40 years ago when he was about 50 plus and he brought an angiogram where all vessels are blocked every single vessel of his heart was blocked and he said the doctor has asked me to immediately have bypass surgery so i looked at the angiogram nature had done so much a bypass his whole heart was so beautifully supplied by blood so i told him look you don't require anything nature has done the job we can only do a cosmetic work on top of it and harm you so don't worry but his children were all in america so they thought this village doctor doesn't know so they took their father to america they went to mayo clinic and showed the angiogram that mayo clinic doctor said send your father back home ask him to have a peg of whiskey every night and enjoy life he will not die don't touch him and that man is alive now 94 and you can see him today 94 ramrod straight he had three cancers after that in the last 40 years survived all the cancers also and this is a very quick man if you look at if you read mangalore newspapers this man has now taken the voluntary job of chief traffic warden early morning at nine o'clock he's about six feet five four inches height he'll put on that police dress and come and stand in hampalgatta and uh, direct traffic at the age of 94 and he's so fit and healthy why is he healthy he has a healthy mind i always say mind your mind your heart will be fine if you don't mind your mind and fill the mind with hatred jealousy greed ego depression etc you will die of a heart attack very soon the cause of a heart attack is not the block but a bad mind it's a bad mind that attracts a clot and the clot kills and if you had a block earlier you probably don't die if you didn't have a block if you are very young and didn't have a block at all if you get a heart attack you will die instantaneously on the spot that's called sudden death syndrome which is different from heart attack before the heart attack occurs you are dead so your heart on postmortem looks normal but you may die, have died of a heart attack because the heart is called electric death and this happens it happens in two circumstances a if you are an alcoholic if you eat drink a lot of alcohol your wiring inside the heart gets eaten up moth eaten and wiring gets snapped one day so you suddenly drop down dead but if you have a heart attack and you are old and have many blocks you will never die you will have chest pain come to the doctor make the doctor rich and you will go on and on and on jug on and you don't die so the secret is the block in the vessel coronary vessel is not the cause of a heart attack recently they did study in america they took angiograms of people lot of people and everybody had some block so they didn't interfere don't didn't tell them but wrote down this man has a block in the left anterior descending artery and if he gets a heart attack he must have a heart attack in the territory like that they left and then observed them over the last 20 years now a few of them did have a heart attack but never in the area where there is a blocked vessel so blocked vessel is not the cause where there is an open vessel that got a clot and that had a heart attack but even then what happens is we simply frighten you because that's our business just now i was talking to a friend of mine sitting here and he was saying he is absolutely fine <clears throat> but his sugar level is very high so he had a very pertinent question very logical question doctor doesn't your body get used to a higher level of sugar i told him yes it does because he says i am absolutely fine if doctors give me tablet and try to bring my sugar down i feel miserable i said you are absolutely right because one of the greatest researchers in hypertension had told his name was sir john pickering and pickering said after you start a patient on blood pressure drugs he loses all the three things in the american constitution enshrined to for man life liberty and pursuit of happiness life you are not sure because with or without drugs you may die liberty you don't have because you have so much of restrictions pursuit of happiness is a thing of the past so 
if you take drugs you become so you become an ass there are but lot, lot of thinking doctors are there i was telling that gentleman sitting there with me i said there is a young doctor in pune i met this boy very ingenious doctor he has devised a method of not controlling diabetes but curing diabetes you have no diabetes at all at the end of which he will give you a certificate cured of diabetes no treatment needed and that certificate and he will give you a medal a gold medal and he will call every year people who have done that course and this year he called me as a chief guest i had about 2800 people who got the gold medal they called muktotsava in pune he had four days of muktotsava tripathi pramod tripathi actually one of the participants this year who got the gold medal from me was our former home minister sushil kumar shinde and shinde told me sir with about 20 units of insulin three times a day and three tablets my sugar used to be average used to be 240 with this boy's treatment it has never gone beyond 110 and i'm very happy and healthy now so this is what is possible but unfortunately commercial medicine is different from real, real scientific medicine and if you want to know the scientific medicine it's very easy to live a healthy life healthy life if you want to live have a healthy mind and the world that kills you is that arrogance i you know i ah, do you know who i am i'm a high court judge i am this that that i starts illness when once you say we it starts wellness all that you do is convert that i into we that's all as simple as that so the things that kill you are the negative feelings in your mind the kill things that keep you healthy are positive feelings for others if you want to be healthy and happy make others healthy and happy i always tell my students each one at least reach one reach one life so that he is made happy in lot of people go in search of happiness i will be happy when i get my daughter married i will be happy when i become the chief justice of uh, india i will be happy when i become the prime minister of india you will never be happy if you are happy today you will be happy all your life so happiness is a journey happiness is not a goal and what is a simple formula for happiness tell me catch hold of a man who is unhappy make him happy <laughs> and happiness will come back happiness and love are like the mirror you know christina an american poet has wrote if love is what you give away love is what comes back each day so it comes and hits you back so you love another person world loves you you love yourself only and don't love nobody and hate others you kill yourself faster so friends convert yourself i illness to we wellness you will all be very healthy then lot of people think oh if i eat this i'll be healthy if i run a mile every day i'll be healthy if i run marathon now and then i'll be healthy all not correct you are healthy if your mind is healthy you don't have to even run nothing nothing else sort you can eat anything as long as you don't eat when you are not hungry you are fine if you don't eat too much and become obese you are fine eat what you like 